make sure it's centered. Um, I will be doing, yeah, I will be doing more of these. I'm back with another video, y'all. So, just make sure you like, come subscribe, cause I'm gonna be authentic. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be me. I'm gonna tell y'all what it is. I'm gonna tell y'all what's going on, and I'm gonna tell y'all like, really, really what no other creator really gonna tell you. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna break it down too. So. At the end of this video, you're going to understand. You know what I'm saying? It's really up to you how you decide to move and how you act. Um, it's going to be why you intimidate women on body game. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really want you guys to understand this for my, you know what I'm saying, my, my guys who work out, you know what I'm saying, my strong guys, everything like that. Real simple, man. It's not really that hard of a concept, but this goes for everybody is that harder it is to come by for somebody like you the more you stress out a person i'm gonna repeat that again is the more harder you are to come by basically saying how rare you are the more somebody will stress out about you and this leads to intimidation because whenever you are uncertain about a situation or you're uncertain about a person it causes you to really think about situations and think about your actions a lot more than if you feel like a person is disposable. So when you are practicing body game, when you are working on your body, when you are working on yourself, like self-improvement channel, you will notice that what you're learning is discipline because in order to set goals, in order to meet goals, in order to get your body right, in order to improve yourself as a person you have to discipline your thought process and you have to also discipline your actions so in this process you're learning discipline and as you guys know discipline is not very easy to come by when you're dealing with somebody young you're know saying for my younger guys people being disciplined is not something you're going to see like if you're in high school you're not going to see people talking about the sats every day you're not going to really see people talking about being the best dressed or, you know what I'm saying, starting a, a business, you know what I'm saying, or getting money. Like, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's just not that common. It's definitely people who are out there who are chasing that, but being consistent with it is not common. So when you become more rare, when people aren't similar on you and you have discipline, you set yourself away from the group. You know what I mean? And this attractive for women women love that because you are not average you know what i'm saying you aren't what you aren't thinking about what everybody is thinking about you could actually teach the woman things you can put her up on game on stuff like that and it's like women love that because it's like okay yeah she may feel like she looks good but what can she learn from you you know what i mean and that's why i want you guys to understand is that when you work on yourself the intimidation can be good because then the woman respects you. It's not an intimidation of someone feeling like the man is better than a woman, but more so she understands that she has to be at a certain standard in order to be around you. In order to attract you or in order to be like to have a magnetic effect or a magnetic appeal, you have to be at a certain standard or that person is not going to be attracted to you. And that's just, that's just how it works. That's how life is. We're living on a like pretty much an electromagnetic spectrum. You know what I'm saying? You got to pay attention in school. Like They talk about this all the time. Basically, you know what I'm saying? You are what you attract, but also you have to work on yourself to attract more. You know what I mean? So it's like if a woman is intimidated by you, she can probably see your accolades. She can probably see your discipline. She can see how you take care of yourself, take care of other people. And you're not just going to sacrifice your discipline or somebody new to come into your life, you know, what I'm saying? especially if you don't feel like it's adding value to you. So that's what I mean when I say like someone may be intimidated by you, but that's what you want as a man. You want that because you want somebody to understand how valuable you are without having to explain yourself, without having to say what you have, not without having to flex your money. And that's what when you work on your body, you work on yourself. That's what happens because that discipline is an energy. That discipline transfers to every area in your life, and you learn that through the gym. 
you can learn that through different areas, but from the gym is you have to maintain that thought process or pretty much maintain that frequency because in the gym, you have to maintain in the gym. It's not just like, okay, you work out for a day, you work out for a month and it's over with. It's like, no, if you want to keep that same size, keep that same amount of muscle, you have to eat a certain way. You have to train a certain way. You have to continuously go. You have to have a membership. And it's just like, that's putting more stress in your body is making you a better person. But also you understand what it takes to get to the levels that you want to get to. And that's a transferable skill that goes from work, dating, working out, making money, you know, saying business, side hustles, all that. It's just like the quicker you understand that a lot of the keys to success is discipline. You then understand, okay, in order for me to vibrate at this frequency to attract better I have to continuously do this. I have to be consistent. And that's what I want you guys to understand is like when you're working out, you will understand that, hey, this woman may be intimidated by me. Not so, not so much so she doesn't think you're a good person. But a lot of times people aren't going to tell you like, hey, guess what? I'm going to tell you a secret. I'm intimidated by you. Like, no, you have to understand. It's like when that is the, the root cause of behavior is intimidation. It then branches out into someone not giving you your flowers. You know what I'm saying? Someone having to cut you down to size because they already figure that you're bigger, you're bitter than them. I mean, you're bigger than them. You know what I'm saying? You have a lot more things going. You have a lot more responsibilities. But you want this as a man. And just from my experience, like you want this because you never want to go through an argument with someone on understanding your value. You never want to fight with somebody not seeing value in you because with that conversation with that argument a person is not going to come out of there and just be like oh yeah i see what you're saying you're telling me you're better so now i agree i automatically agree no it's more so they need to see your character they need to see things that you're doing when people aren't looking they need to see things that you have going on to understand that this isn't the average joke. You know what I'm saying? This isn't the average person. This isn't the average thought process a guy is going to have. You know what I mean? So when I say that most people will be intimidated by you is because you know how to discipline your time. You know how to time manage or, you know, time block rather your time. And that's not normal. You know what I'm saying? That's not normal. It's what we're supposed to do. But just because you're supposed to do something doesn't mean you're going to do it. But when you are actually doing it and you understand what the, you know what I'm saying, you understand the success success at the end of the road, people can't play with you. You know what I'm saying? People can't say they're going to do one thing and then not do it. And then it's okay. Like at certain times, it's like people won't play with you because they know how seriously you take your time. They know if they say the wrong thing to you you're cutting that relationship off because it's not at the same frequency. It's not the same vibration. So it's like the more you feed into a situation that is not helping you, it shows more onto what you're lacking as a person rather than what that person is doing to you. So if a person is treating you bad, a person is not intimidated by you, or they don't, they feel like you're disposable. The longer you put into that relationship, the more you're putting that person head is you're not valuable. You're teaching that person you're not valuable. You're teaching that person they can do whatever. And that's just like, I think a lot of times people are teaching methods to people through body language and through action that they're not valuable. And then they're expecting a different result from a person. And that's just not how that works. But with body game, you then understand my time is valuable. I have to time block my schedule. And guess what? I actually got to wake up and go to the gym. I got to actually put work in. I actually got to think about what I eat. I actually got to, you know what I'm saying, consistently work out. And guess what? If I get injured, I have to work 10 times harder to get back to where I was. You know what I mean? So I want you guys to understand that. Like, don't read the title and just think that, okay, I'm saying that women are intimidated by body game. You know what I'm saying? I more so think of it as, this guy is valuable and he's adding value to me and I'm nervous about it because I don't know what I have to offer or I don't know if I'll attract that high level person based off of what they have going on, based on their responsibilities, based on what they can already handle. Because you will notice 
when you are on body game, you may have a good job. You may be doing different things that benefit you. And that's not the only thing you have going on in your life. And that's just what you want to do is you want to stack it to where you become more, you know, more rare. You know what I'm saying? Not like the rest. Because it's like the more you like the rest, the more you'll get treated like the rest. You know what I'm saying? The more, um, the more people will play in your face because it's just like you don't stand out. You're boring. Like you, you go for whatever I tell you. If I tell you the sky is green, just because you like me enough, you're going to believe the sky is green. It's just like you have to be able to take your time and you have to be able to understand that you need to walk away from certain situations that do not serve you. And when you learn that, you become more intimidating. And that's, that's really what I had to say about it. You know what I mean? Everybody is different. This definitely can work for women as well to where a woman has her her stuff situated or, you know what I'm saying, she's just a, a feminine woman or she ha- she understands relationships to the point where she can help you out. You know what I mean? But you just have to understand that being intimidating is a good thing because the more intimidated you are, the less people play. The less people play, the more respect the more the man is and the less problems you deal with, the less arguments you deal with. Like, like with me now for understanding, I don't fight. I never fight with people because they understand if my body looks like this and I took the time out to work on my body, my car, my body, scope my body, do you really think that I'm going to take away from time from the gym that gives me these results to play with you? Nah, they already know. They already like, okay, he kind of jack. He kind of cut. He may be an athlete. He may be a retired athlete. He may be in sports now. It's just like people don't know, and that's how I like it. Because of, guess what? They don't play. They don't try me with shit because they understand if he has this level of discipline now, what else is he capable of, and what has he done before? So that's the interview, man. Pretty much dropping you out of these gems. You know, saying high quality. I wanted to make sure the audio was really, really good. So. Let me know if you like the audio. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Leave me any comments down below, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much. I'm out. Make sure you, uh, you know what I'm saying, make sure y'all are, what do you call it? Uh, make sure y'all are, what is it called? Shit. Intimidating. Intimidating is good. You know, don't think otherwise, especially as a man. All right, I'm out.